Thomas Lux directs the poetry program at Georgia Tech, where he also holds one of two endowed chairs in poetry. Businessman Bruce McKever endowed one of those chairs. Both men are poets. I don't think there's a dichotomy between being a business person and a poet. I think it's being able to express yourself and wanting to express yourself and wanting to share that. Yeah. That's what I feel. One of the things Bruce always told me about his business is that what he likes best is getting the people together, getting the right match of the right people to make make deals, right? Make a, mm. make a deal, uh, and that's very similar to making a poem. Uh, they they are both creative acts. They are both acts of uh, making, uh, bringing together different elements, and it makes something whole. Uh, you know, in this case, a kind of a business a deal arrangement. Uh, and, and the other thing uh, we both do is, uh, you know, poems. I don't see a dichotomy. Part of my mission at Georgia Tech has been to make that point over and over again, that there isn't uh, any contradiction between engineering, say, or business, say, and, and poetry. They can exist, coexist, and they could even strengthen uh, each other. You uh, both are pretty evangelical about poetry. Well... Cut me and I'll bleed poetry. <laughs> yes, he will. He, he does. Well, you've been writing it and teaching it and, and uh, proselytizing poetry for a long time, Tom. And you, Bruce, have made it possible. I mean, you put your literally put your money where your mouth is on this. Is have are you are you trying to create a need or are you meeting a need? No, I'm. Um, uh... Well, I'm trying to give back. I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. But this, uh, our school, Georgia Tech, is a cultural wasteland or was a cultural wasteland, and it needed something. There were no electives when I was there. And what, I was trying to think what they need. And then they come to you and they say, you know, we want a building and another building, you know. But that wasn't it. What it really needed was it needed a richness. It needed an enriching. And it's also, as I go back to the poet kings of Ireland or whatever, Oh, uh, engineers aren't worth a damn if they can't write. If you can't get an mm. idea across, where I come, where, where when I, write, in order to be, you've got to put it in a memo. You've got to be able to succinctly tell, put your idea down, um, and get that, uh, that get that across. And if you're if you're an engineer, a great engineer, you can have, you know, if you can't uh, communicate that to somebody, either verbally or in written form. Yeah. You're not worth a damn. Yeah. So, and what I'm trying to make these, I'm trying to help these guys who are really intelligent guys and girls, at much more effective people. And I think also poetry just enriches your life because it focuses you on looking. It focuses your attention. Yeah. Poetry, like nothing else, the the playing with words. Tom and I are like he 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 teaches me. We're like cobblers. And you go in there and you move this word, you move that word, and suddenly hours are gone and you don't know where they went. And I go, this is taking up so much time to write this thing. And it was one little, I'm going, where did it go? But it was an absolute joy putting that together. I like the cobbler metaphor that uh, Bruce used because it implies that poems are made things. A cobbler makes shoes. <laughs> They don't just oh, happen. Point. They don't just fall out of the, down the cobbler's arm and onto the cobbler's bench, and there's a pair of shoes. And I preferably, mean. they fit. And he has to, and they have to fit, and uh, he makes them nail by nail and cu little cutting by cutting. And poems are made things. That's what the word means. The poet in the ancient Greek means maker to make. Uh, so uh, that's why we get lost for hours at a time because we're making something. And using the word attention to uh, Paul Celan, the great German poet said, attentiveness is the, the natural prayer of the human soul. Mm. No, no Do matter, that again. Attentiveness is the natural prayer of the human soul, mm. uh, Paul Celan. Meaning anything you love that you give real focus and attention to, uh, whether it's art or engineering or business or whatever, or a combination thereof, uh, you you really work on it. You you focus on it. Your attention is your is your love is an expression of your love uh, for that that thing, whatever it is. <laughs>